Game started. Dagsy. Okay, D4. C4. Let's see what he's coming up with. Okay, this is the Nimzo. Let's allow the Nimzo. Could be a Nimzo. Ah, but he plays the Queen's Indian defense anyway. Okay, well, let's put the other knight there. I'll pretend like <laughs> we meant to play a Queen's Indian. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. White gets black. Black gets some nice pressure on this diagonal here. But uh, white can play for uh, bishop d3, queen e2, and pushing the e pawn. Yeah, going after undermining the d pawn right away is good. I go here instead then. So if he takes, I'll take back with the pawn, and it's defended by the queen. Go for an early castles. <clears throat> oh, he's just moving all his pawns. Well, I could give him the famous hanging pawns here, I guess. Or he could take back with his pieces. Let's see which way he takes this pawn. So now if he takes, he'll have an isolated queen's pawn. If he pushes, it might be good, but it looks a bit like a funny structure. If I take, he might get a good isolated queen's pawn position with an active bishop there. So I'm going to just leave it there. I know. I'll play um, b3 to discourage him from pushing. And then castle. Now his bishop is blocked, so I don't have to worry about my knight here. Um, he's got c5 pretty well defended. Two pieces on it. Maybe bishop here, and then later I can take on c5 and open up this line for my bishop. Yeah. So, knight... Knight to uh, <clears throat> e5 seems tempting. Knight takes, pawn takes, this guy moves. And um, I can't play f4 because uh, e3 is hanging. Okay, so let's defend e3. I want to be able to play f4 in response to knight um, g4. Oh, and you know, knight g4 was not possible anyway because the bishop was guarding that square. Okay, so it was an unnecessary preparation move. Well, it will force your opponent to think when you make an unnecessary move. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes it forces him to think. And if he doesn't take right away, I'll play f4 anyway. Just cementing the knight on that good square. And now, um, can I bring more pieces over to the king side? So there's a possibility already of rook f3 to h3. <clears throat> He's got two knights guarding h7, though. Still, I think uh, bringing pieces over to the king side is probably the right plan. Queen g3. Maybe g4 first and then queen g3. g4, g5. The center is all clogged up. He can't easily bring his pieces uh, back 
before the attack. Back over to the king side. So, you know, maybe I can launch a pawn storm. <clears throat> okay, so the idea with b3 was to just take the pawn in a case like this and win a pawn. Doesn't this win a pawn? Or am I missing something? It did open up a nice diagonal for his bishop, so maybe it's a intentional pawn sack. Pawn sack for good reason. Yeah, still, let's take it. This uh, pawn on f7 is a bit tender, too. Ah, just sacks the exchange. Yeah, yeah, maybe there was no good way to defend uh, f7. So, uh, but the knight can go right back to the square, right? And now, well, now I have a bad bishop, that's true. That is a point. <clears throat> And um, let's come out, let's see, if the queen is on g3, his knight can go to, um, h5 to harass the queen, but that doesn't look too dangerous right now. Defends, um, the queen defends g2 also. He does have this, uh, Light squared control. He has a light squared bishop that I don't have, and I have pawns and holes in my pawn structure here on the light squares. So maybe that uh, <clears throat> maybe that sacrifice was partially justified. Okay, so I could think of playing f4 to f5 and the knight e2 to f4. I just need to uh, get these pawns over on the king side. I don't think much is happening on the queen side. In the long run, he's got a um, endgame advantage over here on the queen side with two pawns against one. But uh, I think if I can just get a good attack going here, it won't be time for that. The, the ideal square for my other knight would be um, g5, doubling up on this square, but I can't uh, get there so easily. Okay, so he's going after this pawn. And there is a problem. He can chase my knight, and then he's got the rook, <clears throat> the rook and the uh, knight on this square. E three. Okay, but let's get rid of that knight then. See if we can uh, harass this bishop a bit. If the bishop goes to d2 immediately, I can um, just chase it some more because this uh, e3 is still defended. But he didn't go there, he went. <clears throat> okay, so I would like to just get rid of that bishop. Uh, his bishop is now defending f7, his light squared bishop. So I think his dark squared bishop doesn't have many good squares, so I can maybe play against that. And if he exchanges, then I get a uh, file here for my rooks. Yeah, now where does the knight go? Maybe here, knight c6, it could fall back to b4 and come over here to d3, 
b4, d2, b4, c2, e1, back to uh, f3, possibly. I can't can't take advantage of the check there. Okay, this is a comes with a tempo because it's harassing the knight. I mean the good good light squared bishop, which he I assume he wants to keep. <clears throat> uh, and he gets a tempo. So let's uh, let's double up over here. Still, knight d3 is possible. d3 to c5, maybe is an idea. Or d3 to f5, if I play pawn to f, um, d3 to f4, and I play after I play pawn to f5. Okay, where's the knight? The knight needs to get into the game. It can come out to um, g6, e6, or d7, yeah. Okay, this is not loose. I can't play that. Yeah, okay, so let's get the knight out of the way so I can... Um, I want to be able to play a move like um, a4 to undermine the queenside pawns and destabilize the uh, bishop. Knight, knight b2 is an idea too, another way to hit the bishop. Okay, the pawn, the knight still doesn't have too many good squares. He can't come forward to uh, <clears throat> e5 or c5. He can come to b6. Okay, queen here, yeah, when he's putting more pressure on the um, the e3, the backward e3 pawn. But now this knight defends the e3 by opening up a line from the rook, and it also hits his bishop. Okay, there we have it. So he can take here now. He's got three pieces on it. I could defend there. I could actually defend with the king, right? King here, knight takes, rook takes, queen takes, queen takes, rook takes, king takes. Yeah, I come out. I come out a piece up. And now I can play this move. He can't take because of the knight. He can't push because of the knight. He could have uh, taken this pawn before, I guess, because he had... Um, so the idea is to go after the pawn with this rook, which is not needed in defense. Maybe queen f3 to um, d5. Another way to infiltrate. Yeah, so the queen defends there. Queen f3 anyway. Nah, queen f3 is not good. Knight. Man. Very sloppy play. Knight to uh, <clears throat> knight d2 there forks the queen and the rook. 
you got to notice these things before you make the move. <laughs> okay. I grant, he has granted me a reprieve here. Okay, he's not yet threatening to take here. Let's just uh, get rid of the fork. <clears throat> Maybe I could just play um, d5 and rook d4 and just try and get rid of that rook. Queen's guarding that square. So rook d4 is not possible here, but in this position, the queen is out of line for stopping the pawn, so maybe I can just push the pawn through. Running a little low on time here. So, I mean, I think he needs, he needs to uh, bring the rook back or the queen back to stop it. Yeah. So if he brings the queen back, I can play um, rook to um, d4. Rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes there or knight. It's not so, not so simple. If I bring this other rook, yeah, if I bring this other rook here, he's got another fork with his knight. That knight, <laughs> knight is very annoying. <laughs> How about this one? Rook to d5, hitting the two pawns. He can push ahead with uh, b4, hitting my knight, my rook, I mean. But I can play rook to um, b3. Still hitting two pawns. Although I can't really take that one because he takes there with the rook hitting my coin. It's pretty annoying. He can do that. But if he does that, then uh, don't I have a... Um... Okay, so rook takes pawn, knight takes, or and I can take his rook. So rook takes pawn, queen takes. Okay, just going for the uh, pen. Nothing tricky with taking pawns. Yeah, so I get I get a piece at least, and he gets this advanced pawn, which could be dangerous if he had enough time to. Uh, hey, he's playing on. Okay. Can I put this away? This game. Can I put this game away somehow? Queen check here. Black forfeits on time. Okay, so he did run out of time. Yeah, he was down to his uh, his increment only, and you gotta gotta move real quick. So interesting game. I will do a post mortem as usual, and see you guys later. Bye.